So if you're an Uber driver and you get a ticket for letting someone off in the wrong place, I'm going to show you how to get it reversed in this video. Hey guys, welcome to my channel, K Fits My Life. So uh, among a lot of the things that I do, I drive Uber on the side too. I want to upgrade some of my equipment for YouTube and I didn't really want to dip into my savings so I thought I drive Uber for a while and while driving Uber a few months ago I got a ticket for letting someone off in the wrong place so I let this woman out she was a lady with four kids and I was trying to be nice and just let the lady out close by so she wouldn't have to manage all those kids the policeman came up to my door and you know there was a whole little thing with that but I don't want to go into it Ultimately, what happened was he said I was letting the person off in the wrong place and he was giving me a ticket for that. So I took the ticket and uh, I went ahead and paid it. But when I looked at the ticket, it was, um, it had this number and I'll, I'll put it on the screen, but it was this K number, right? And so when I went to pay it, I noticed in the, uh, in the window she told me that when she, on the breakdown, she told me that it was for a moving violation. And I said, well, why is this a moving violation? I got a ticket for letting someone out. I was parked. I was parked in the wrong place. And she said, well, in our system, it comes up as a moving violation. So I said, okay. Now I had accidentally went past the compliance date. So the ticket ended up being $150. So I went ahead and paid it. But um, I keep my insurance on my phone, and for some reason, the app that I use for Progressive was down, so I couldn't show the policeman my insurance. So he said, well, when you go pay it, you can show it then. But since I had missed the compliance date, I had to go before a judge to show my proof of insurance, which actually turned out in my favor. So when I went before the judge, um, I said, uh, you know, I raised my hand and said, can I ask a question? He said, yes. I said, well, when I paid this ticket, it came up as a moving violation. And I wasn't moving. I was parked. And he said, uh, he said, okay. I said, so is there a difference between the amount that you have to pay for a moving violation versus a violation of, of parking? And he, he said, yes. And he looked through his, his information. He said, you know what? This has been happening all this week. I've been getting the same thing. And so he had everybody, all the other attorneys in the courtroom, look through your paperwork, look through here and see if we can find whether this is the right terminology, the right number to put for this ticket. So they all looked to try to find the right statute or whatever for the ticket that I was given. So I raised my hand again while he was doing that. And I said, can I ask one more question? He said, yeah. I said, is there a difference between the penalty given as far as my driving record for a moving violation versus a non-moving violation. And he said, oh yeah, it's a huge difference. And so he started talking to the attorneys and he said, this is happening so many times. I really don't know what you guys are doing. And I, I had a whole lot more questions, but I felt like I was winning. So I said, you know what, if you're winning, just shut up. So he said, you know what? I am tired of this happening. You guys need to figure out a way to fix this. So refund this man his money and take those points off his driving record. Bam. I was like, okay, that was, yeah, that was good. <laughs> so uh, I went over to the guy. He asked me to come over. He said, okay, we're going to, he's going to, we're going to mail you a check and uh, we'll have the points taken off your driving record. I said, thank you. And I left the courtroom. Now, I know some of you might be saying, oh, no, you're lying. You're lying. That didn't really happen. But here's the check that I got from the Traffic Violation Bureau. So, yeah, it's not lying. And that's the same citation number that was on my ticket. So if you get this ticket, in Na I know for sure in Nashville, but if you get this ticket for letting someone off in the wrong place, and when you go to pay it, if it comes up as a moving violation, 
you can contest it, um, just request a hearing with the judge and contest it. And if you haven't paid it, they will dismiss it. If you've already paid it, they'll give you a refund. I don't know how long this is going to last. And again, like I said, I know for a fact it, it works here in Nashville, but um, I'm not sure how it's going to be across the country. But if you're here in Nashville, it works. So if you've gotten one and you're still trying to pay it in the next few days, you might want to go ahead and try to request a, a hearing with the judge. But yeah, that was my experience. So uh, let me know what you guys think. If you other Uber drivers out there have had an experience like this, uh, share it in the comments. Let us know what, um, what happened to you, if you were able to beat it, or if you got stuck paying the ticket. So anyway, guys, that was just a little quick video I just wanted to share with uh, the other Uber drivers out there. So again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please, if you found this helpful, like, share it with other uh, Uber drivers, uh, subscribe to my channel, um, hit the bell so you can see when I upload new content. You can follow me on all social media. I'll put those links in the description and I'll see you guys on the next one. All right. Peace.